Joining me now is my newsmaker today, Justice R.S. Sodhi, former justice at the Delhi High Court, who's also joined in this debate. Because you are making all the headlines this morning in the papers, Justice Sodhi, when you said that the Supreme Court has hijacked the constitution of the country. What exactly did you mean, Justice Sodhi, by saying that? Well, what I mean to say when, the, when I say the Supreme Court has hijacked the constitution is that the constitution has been interpreted in a manner that the constitution cannot be interpreted. The constitution provides for appointment of judges in a particular fashion mm -hmm. and uh, does not give collegium an opportunity to keep appointing themselves. That's why I said you have hijacked the constitution. But what you are suggesting then, Justice Sodhi, is that the judges are misusing the collegium system for appointing judges, but this system has existed from 1993. Why suddenly in 2023 wake up and say that? Uh, because, uh, you know, that will lead to people, uh, you know, raising questions. Why now? Uh, I did not say they are, they are hijacking the entire constitution. I, I, I just said that they had hijacked the constitution, mm -hmm. which was functioning till 1992 very well, mm -hmm. as far as the appointment of the, judici the judici judiciary is concerned. But all of a sudden, they need to change it, change it to make themselves appoint themselves. That is hijacking. No, but what about? But what you are saying, uh, Justice Sodhi, is that in 2023, 30 years after the collegium system has been in place. Now when Kiran Rejuju, the law minister and other government functionaries are questioning the manner of the, function, of the functioning of judiciary, you also join in the debate. Are you batting for the Modi government? <laughs> I am not batting for anybody. Mm -hmm. This question, this uh, interview I gave on the, on the 8th or 9th of January. I did not know what the law minister was doing or is going to use it or not use it. Mine was an innocent answer to a, to a, to a question asked by me by a journalist. And that is it. I had no, uh, no other uh, political motive to it. But if you can use it, what can I do about it? You're saying there were no political motives to your question, but let's get it specific. Are you saying, therefore, that the Indian judiciary needs to move away from the collegium system where five judges uh, appoint high court judges and three uh, judges, or vice versa, five Supreme Court judges appoint fellow judges as well as high court judges. See, uh, I think the, the collegium system has outlived its utility mm -hmm. and is now decaying. The decay has to be stopped and we can do that by overhauling our system. After all, we do want the, the judiciary to function appropriately and we also want appointments to be made uh, transparently and with some some guideline and system to be there not ad hocism and knee-jerk reactions but what, what suddenly has changed for you to say all this is there something specific that has happened for you to feel that the judiciary has lost its way I don't want to get into that part. Yes, lots of things have happened and lots of things are happening. But uh, the way it has moved, the system is moving now, I think it is moving in the wrong direction and therefore it was time for me to speak up. But I am not going to name any judges, I am not going to name anybody and therefore uh, it is pointless asking me these questions again and again. I'm I'm not asking you, Justice Sodhi, to name specific judges. I am asking you to be specific with our audience today. What is wrong in the current system for a judge like you to say the judiciary has hijacked the constitution? What is that that has made you feel so angry to say that? All right. What, is, what I notice is that the Supreme Court judge who is appointed from that particular, from a particular high court runs his agenda of forcing the Chief Justice of that court to send names which he wants to be sent. And that is why the, the high courts are becoming absolutely uh, spineless because they are looking up at, at uh, the Supreme Court for their appointments to the Supreme Court, for their, appoint, for their, uh, for their uh, transfers mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and, 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 the, and the like. Therefore, I felt that 
it is it is an impropriety and that and that appropriate uh, selection is not taking place but it is going on in a nature that uh, would 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 uh, be harmful to the judiciary you know the flip side to what you are saying justice sodhi is are you looking for the government to intervene will we now have a situation where the government will virtually decide or have their say or final say in the appointment of judges in this country no i do not say that the the, that the government has, has uh, should appoint or have have a say a per se but what i say is that the independence of the high court should also be taken into consideration the high courts are today no longer independent and please tell me how come three judges of the high court are uh, uh, who form the collegium ca can become so wise as to choose uh, choose names from mm -hmm. uh, from a pool that is not, just not there and what about the other judges of the high court are they are they ir irrelevant they have where is their say so the system has to change itself this collegium system of four and five or two or threes having their way is bad no i sir no one is saying systems don't need to be reformed but you're saying all this at a time when the law minister is seen to be taking pot shots at the judiciary the government is seen to be sitting on appointments of judges the government is seen to want only convenient judges which is a better system at the end of the day one which has government intervention or one which is the present system which as you rightly said may be opaque but at least doesn't have government interference on a daily basis i do not support the the fighting of the or the infighting going on between the supreme court and the and the law minister and 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 such i do not support it at all and on the contrary i think it's it's most unsavory that two Uh, that the two responsible limbs of the constitution should be battering it out on the streets like this it 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 does not behove the supreme court as nor the uh, nor the, the 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 executive or the the, the parliament it is it uh, has to be sorted out in a rational manner but at the same time the collegium the way of the five or the way of the three has to the will of the five or the will of the three has to stop and there has to be a more broader a broader way and we must know who is being appointed why is he being appointed or what is the criteria of, of appointment there is absolutely nothing it's just just your will and and uh, if you just keep on importing your will into everything and that also will of 3 for a high court judge will will of 5 for a supreme court judge is this, is that feasible let me leave it there justice sodhi you've set the cat among the pigeons once again with your remarks this is a debate that is going to carry on what it does though to the independence of the judiciary or indeed uh, the future of the judiciary we leave it uh, to all you mighty judges and uh, jurists to decide thanks very much for joining me